What's up, y'all? What's happening with it? What's happening with it? Long time no sizzle. How are we doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Let's get right to it. I got a request from Dub City and it says, I was wondering if you can help me out. I seen one of your videos that you loop the drum beat and you loop the sample. After you do that, how do you put it into song mode and arrange it into MPC? Well, Dub City, since you've been so patient with me and I do apologize for the wait. Um, let's get right to it. Okay. So here we go. So let's go here. I have, I have one, two, three, four, five, six sounds. I have drum loop, chord loop, piano, synth FX, uh, voice, like a vo vocal effects and a bass line. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six sounds and we're going to, um, I'm going to demonstrate on how I, uh, use song mode in MPC. So let's see, let's go back to the main and you see here, that's, I did all of that in this one sequence. I have the drum loop, chords, the piano, synth effects, vocal effects, bass line, six, six tracks. Sequence one here, how I do it is I go and I copy the sequence. Here you'll see you can do all kind of things with this one sequence, but here we're going to go down to copy and copy the sequence. And I usually just, you can do intro. Let's do intro. Let's, let's name them. Intro. Intro. Name that intro. So I copied that sequence. Now we have intro and we have sequence one. So I copied sequence one and named it intro. It's going to sound the same. Yeah. They both sound the same. It's going to go next. It's going to go to the sequence. See? Same thing. It's the same thing. So, now... I'm going to go here into my intro and I'm going to pop back into my track mute. And I don't know. I think I'll do chords first. Let's see how the chords sound first. Yeah. Yeah. I, li I like that. I like the chords. I like how that sounds. So I'm going to use the chord as my intro. And go back to main. This could, I mean, that, this is my way. This is my way. And I'm going to go ahead and um, copy that intro. We're going to name it intro two. My bad. All right. And again, we have sequence one, the intro, and now intro two. We'll go back in here into track mute, and then what sound? What would sound good with that? Let's let's see. Try, let me see if I do the bass, the drums. Nah, I don't know if I like the drums. Let's do, uh, yeah, I like that. So we're going to do intro two, 
And it's going to have the chords and the synth. Yeah. All right. Go back to the main. And we're going to copy that intro. I'm naming this next sequence. Uh, I'm copying it and I'm naming it verse. Okay. And then we're going to go in here. And again, now there it is. It's verse. Sequence number four is named verse. Go into our track mute. We'll drop in the piano and we'll drop in the drum loop and we'll drop in the vocal because we're going to make it fast. We're not going to be too long. We're not going to be too long. So we're going to drop that in there and this is what it'll sound like. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to change that up. I'm just going to add in the drum loop. Let's let's see how that sounds. Okay, I like that. So we're going to go here verse and we're going to again copy that and then I'm going to call it verse 2. All right. All right, verse two. And so we got verse two, and we just gonna go ahead and copy verse two. All right, do it. Now we have six, six sequences. Intro, intro one, intro two. So this is one, two, three, four. Six. All right. So let's let's get this started. So now I'm going to show you what it sounds like when I flip between all of these here. Okay. So I'm going to add the bass line on verse two, and then we're going to go into hook, and I'm going to add the vocals. Okay. So we're going to go through, which I really could have just, the hook could be just sequence one because it's all there, but I like to keep sequence one. This is just my tech, my little, you know, tactic. I like to keep sequence one because it's kind of like the original and I like to have it as a, a base just to always have it so I can mess around with it if I need to. I know. It's weird. But anyway, let's let's flip between these and listen to how it sounds. And, and this will be how you put it into uh, song mode. But I go through it. I listen to it and then I'll put it in the song mode and then we can put it in the song mode. OK, so let's go. Let's listen to it really quick. So I'm going to switch it on in to next intro. the synth in there okay and then I'm gonna go next verse mm-hmm next verse two got that bass line in there nice then we're gonna add the vocals on the hook that's it Then sometimes I mess with it. I play around with it. And let me drop the let me drop the uh, mess around with it like that. So now we want to go into song mode. Okay. <clears throat> we go back home. So let me show you how to do let's let's so we start in here, or you can start it from here. Wherever you are in the main, you want to go to song mode. So you want to go in and you want to go to song mode. So you go ahead and insert. We're going to go ahead and do intro one. We're going to go ahead and intro two. 
Okay, insert another. Inch reverse. Go down. Verse two. Insert and verse and hook. And you can uh, do as many as you want. You can always go in and change them. You can make a million of them. Also, here it says bars. Oh, it doesn't work on this one. Oh, here. I'm sorry. So if you want to like do the verse twice, you can do that as well. Three times, four times, five times if you want to. Hold it. But we're going to keep it simple, and I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it through. It's in song mode right now. So here we go. So that's it. That, my friends, is it. But since we're here, <laughs> I really love, I mean, I think this is fun. If you guys don't know how to do, haven't done this, I mean, this is, this is, this is, this is what it, I love this. I love that we can, you can go in here and play with it. So try that as well. And that's how you can pretty much, um, figure out how you want your song to be arranged just by vibing, vibing with it. You know, what do we next? What do we want? Vocals next. Hey. Get that bass line. So, I hope that helps. So, there you have it. Song mode and the MPC and arranging and just messing around with it. The track mute, I love that. I love vibing with the track mute. It's like, it's like if you're not a pianist, if you're not a, a, a guitarist <laughs> or a singer, man, you could, it, it, it's just like, being a musician when you when you're um uh, vibing in that track mode for me it's just like being a musician you know i'm 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 arranging in in real time um and listen to listening to my uh creation in real time we're listening to all my tracks at once dropping them out dropping some in bringing it out love it i love doing that and I encourage you to try and to have fun with that as well. Um, if you have any other requests and I know how to do it, I will be happy to demonstrate for you. But thanks, Dub City, for the request. I appreciate it. And I hope this helped. Until next time. Peace.